okay we have a uh, three chest x-rays and a sketch of lateral view of both right and left lungs one is absolute normal for reference and i want you to pay attention to right middle and lower zones and note normal lung parenchyma in appearance this is how normal lung parenchyma should look like on a chest x-ray two chest x-rays below show abnormal air space opacification uh, and the opacification is only present in part of right lung on both x-rays rest of the lungs appear normal this is the abnormal area on this x-ray uh, as well as this area on this one the pathology appears to be in same area on both x-rays however both patients have this abnormality in different anatomical regions this patient in this patient the abnormality is in the right middle lobe and versus in this one it is in the right lower lobe how do we know that we'll discuss shortly but first thing first we use the term air space opacification the term air space op opacification refers to filling of lung parenchyma or some part of the lung parenchyma with material which absorbs more x-rays then the surrounding normal lung parenchyma and hence appears opaque or in very plain english more white so to speak note the opacification does not have any distinct shape or boundaries radiologically such opacification or appearance is described as consolidation which in simple words uh, means that alveoli small bronchi and bronchioles in the affected area are filled with material other than the air and hence the affected part of the lung cannot perform normal function of gas exchange the air spaces in both these cases in these areas are filled with bacteria pus fluid and or other microorganisms the condition is commonly known as pneumonia uh, however you must also know that other causes of air space filling or consolidation as, as it is known as and which may or may not be distinguishable radiologically are presence of fluid which is not caused by infection such as uh, in case of pulmonary edema presence of cells in the air spaces such as in cancer uh, presence of proteins in air spaces such as in case of alveolar proteinosis and presence of blood in air spaces such as in case of uh, pulmonary hemorrhage collapsing lung or part of the lung can also show up as opaque in many such cases however there are distinct features that help radiologists to differentiate infarcted lung parenchyma which for example can be caused by pulmonary embolism will also appear opaque on chest x-rays pleural plaques for example can be uh, which can be caused by asbestos will also appear opaque on the chest x-rays so back to the topic pneumonia is defined as an infection of lung pneumonia is caused by bacteria viruses mycoplasma and fungi lung infections are frequently classified either on the basis of anatomy which in simple words means part of the lung involved or uh, on the basis of etiology which means uh, what is causing the infection so on the basis of uh, anatomy uh, pneumonia is classified as a lobar pneumonia as in both these cases one patient on one patient uh, pneumonia is in uh, right middle lobe and on the other one it is in right lower lobe and as a matter of fact pneumonia can be present in any lobe the other common type is classified as bronchopneumonia as opposed to lobar pneumonia in which case you will see a scattered patchy opacification throughout both lungs and there are a couple of more classifications according to many professionals but both these are lobar pneumonias now i said uh, this consolidation is in right middle lobe and this one is in right lower lobe the question is how can one uh, can be so confident about it without having a lateral view so the thing is if you know your anatomy a little bit the cardiac border on the right side is only made visible by the presence of a totally different density 
which of course is part of the lung, right lung. Uh, the cardiac muscles are far more opaque as compared to adjacent lung, which is far more loosened. One appears somewhat white, the other appears uh, somewhat uh, black in simple language. The heart borders with right middle lobe, not with the right lower lobe. So this is the area which is, uh, this is the anterior side and this is the posterior side. So heart is anterior, so heart borders with the right middle lobe here and this heart border is only visible because of the uh, so-called uh, lucent uh, air densities in right middle lobe which is this conical shape if you can see it. Uh, so in this case for example you can still see right uh, cardiac border which tells us that the opacification is in the right lower lobe which lies behind the right middle lobe and that's why the right cardiac border right heart border is still visible in this case right heart border is totally gone missing the which means that the uh, the the density uh, the uh, opacity is in the right middle lobe and the density of the cardiac muscles and the density in the adjacent lung parenchyma has become very very similar which is obliterating the right heart border so this is how you can tell that this pathology is in the right middle lobe and this pathology is in the uh, right uh, lower lobe the upper lobe does not of course does not appear here so this area when you take a chest x-ray PAV or OP view will show middle lobe and lower lobe overlapped on top of each other thank you very much